This Wednesday night, huh? Phoenix, Arizona, the Tag Team Revolution Battle Royal Live on Dynamite. You know what it smells like to me? You know what it smells like to Cool Hand Edge and Daddy Magic? It smells like opportunity. Opportunity to give the world a taste. A taste of sports entertainment. Ready, aim, fire! Austin Gunn, Colton Gunn, let me introduce you to the bazooka. In AEW history, the biggest, baddest mamma jamma in battle royal history is me, the butcher. And when the smoke clears, and it always clears, there's gonna be two buff men left standing in the Revolution Tag Team Battle Royal. That's the Butcher and the Blade! You know, best friends have been in AEW since day one. We've been in a lot of these battle royals, and I gotta tell you, we're not doing too hot. We haven't won once, but guess what? This time, we guarantee! Mm. Actually, you know what? Like, everyone is probably gonna scream and yell and talk about how they're gonna win. Nobody really knows who's gonna win. Obviously, we're gonna try very hard. Gonna oh, try. we're gonna try real hard! Hi, right, baby, you wanna yell? Let's yell! We're Ooh. yelling! Ooh. I'm mad! We, I don't even know why I'm we mad! We guarantee I'm nothing! We're gonna win the damn battle royal, okay? You want me to get in the ring? I'll do it myself, okay? I'll do it myself! I don't need him! I don't need you! I don't need you, Jeff! You wait, I'm gonna wait, win it! We are gonna win it! And then we're gonna go to Revolution, and we're gonna become the new Tag Team Champions, you sons of bitches! We've come too close too many times. And now it's time to make good on a promise that we've had since the beginning. We've been on fire since the Three Kings Christmas Trios Battle Royal with our boy A.R. Fox. And this week on Dynamite, we're gonna enter the Revolution Tag Team Battle Royal. And we're gonna challenge every tag team in it to either step up or take flight. The AEW Tag Team Championships belong with us. You're looking at the best tag team in the universe and you know why? Settle! Yeah. I just received word that my two guys are gonna be in this week's Revolution Tag Team Battle Royal, which is great because as of late, they've been drawing the highest rated YouTube shows of all time, which means this week's television show is gonna be the highest rated television show, which means this pay-per-view, once they win the Battle Royal, is gonna be the biggest buy rate in AEW history. And then the icing on the cake is that my guys are gonna win the tag team titles. John, who has the most wins in AEW in 2023? You know what, Alex, I, I think that's us, the Dark Order. <laughs> sure is. And who's gonna win the Revolution Tag Team Battle Royal next week? Oh, the Dark Order is, baby! That's right, we're gonna win the Battle Royal, and we're going to Revolution to challenge for those tag team titles. And what are we gonna do, John, when we get to Revolution? One second, Alan, flexing. We're gonna win! <laughs> Lucha Bros! It don't no matter! There See you later! Hey, you, know what? you can even bring a couple of the ladies! Bring the ladies! Get out of here! Get out of here! The JAS is forever! 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 Next week is the start of the biggest momentum rise that AEW will ever see because next week is the starting moment where you can look forward to your next AEW Tag Team Champions being Myself and Jeff frickin' Jarrett. Screw me once, screw me twice. Yeah, you may get that over on us, but I assure you, you're looking at the group that will be the new AEW Tag Team Champions. Forever! 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 Do you see what he did? You see what that son of a bitch did? I was kind of hoping you would want to go down this dark, dark alley with me. And I kind of hoped that you wouldn't have anybody who cared about you, any friends that would talk you out of it and talk you into making a smart decision. The emo cowboy, though, he ain't got no friends. John Moxley, maybe you've been at the top of the mountain for too long, but did you say that he has no friends? I don't know if you've been paid for the last two years, but we've had this man's back through and through. I come up to your face, John Moxley. Eye to eye, toe to toe with you. I can't remember the last time I saw somebody do that to John Moxley. And you won't even acknowledge me. Cowboy. Cowboy.
You look over at Hangman, and you ignore me. The man that's right in front of you challenged you at that very moment. I told you to stay out of this. I told you to Get stay out of this. Get out of my face. Par for the course for the Dark Order, though. It's not the first time we've been belittled. We will be belittled no more. Dark Order ain't afraid of you. Evil Uno is not afraid of John Moxley. Mox is about to explode, and I don't blame him, but there's no back down in Evil Uno. Next week on Dynamite, you get to meet Evil Uno, Mr. Brody Lee's number one. No matter what that turd and LFI has been saying, I was the chosen one by Mr. Brody Lee, and I was number one for a reason. If you think John Moxley can just come clean house and walk in here as if it was nothing, as if I didn't have a little bit of a history of violence myself, this evil Uno is going to bring back respect to the name of Dark Order. And it starts with you, John Moxley. No matter what Hangman says, I will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, and you will respect me.